Hi, my name is Natasha Latif. I'm from Singapore. I'm a human rights lawyer. I work in Afghanistan. I am the executive director and legal advisor um, in an NGO that I founded. It's called Strategic Advocacy for Human Rights, also known as SAHAR. We work on women's rights issues primarily, and we come up with creative arguments, strategic arguments, within human rights jurisprudence and classical and contemporary to affect the change that we want on the ground. Behind me is a great team of activists and lawyers from different parts of the world. Afghanistan is a very delicate situation. This is a situation where women's rights work is being done in the context of conflict and war. A lot of the violence is taking place, a widespread, systematic. I'm very concerned and I'm investing my time and energy to look into the ways in which the justice system can put the rape victim in the center of giving her justice in the way she understands justice. Um, and this means revamping the rape laws, looking at rules of evidence, um, and then ensuring that the system provides holistic support, emotional support, psychological support, um, to ensure that when she, if she does take that brave decision to pursue her attacker through the justice process, that she's not indeed harmed at the end of that. Women human rights defenders, I think, face a whole range of threats coming from private actors, insurgent groups, and the government. Um, and these can come in the form of threats of sexual harassment, sexual intimidation. You have situations of grenade attacks, assassinations, and suicide attacks as well. You know, it's, it's, this training has brought me closer to the UN in Geneva and knowing exactly what what the UN does. One of the reasons why I'm here is because I want to be able to know how to work with mechanisms like the Special Rapporteur procedures to see that if I'm unable to push a case through or push a situation through an Afghan context, how I can work with the Special Rapporteur to do that and to be kind of like a conduit between myself and the state um, to respond to individual communications and the individual violations. I was lobbying states, I was giving speeches at the side events. Um, I spoke to the diplomats from Mexico, Uruguay, one on one, you know. So this was not me sitting in class or in like law school and listening to what UPR is or the Human Rights Council is. I was working with the states, oh, yeah. you know. I'm, I'm always trying to learn, I'm try, trying to meet people just to absorb best practices and good strategies that I can take. So this was really the platform to do that.